The Lightning F-35s do more than excel in combat. They're also creating over 5,000 jobs in Georgia. The local economic impact, it's not just jobs, it's quality, high-tech jobs. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighborhood reporter here in Valdosta, and I'm tracking the economic impact these planes bring to our neighborhoods. Glenn Klassa may be the director of the Joint Strike Fighter Program for the U.S. Marine Corps at Lockheed Martin now, but it took a long road to get there as he's a... Retired uh, Marine, 27 years, active duty, uh, flew F-18s uh, for probably about 15 of those 27 years uh, right up the road in Beaufort, South Carolina. Now he can continue pursuing his true calling, helping bring Moody's F-35 planes into action. Actually joining the service was uh, an easy choice for me. I was at a crossroads in my life where I was looking for something to do and found it uh, in aviation. Equipped with stealth technology, advanced sensors, and impressive weapons capacity, U.S. Representative for Georgia Austin Scott tells me that F-35s stand out as the most lethal, survivable, and connected fighter jet yet. It is the weapon that you want. We talk about defense, but when we have to go on offense, uh, this is the weapon system that is going to lead the way. Beyond its role in national security, the F-35 program is also a major economic driver, creating jobs for over 5,000 Georgians at 37 locations statewide. With an annual impact of more than $866 million, it's training the next wave of combat-ready F-35 airmen and supporting global missions. Obviously, we've got combat rescue there as well. And so, uh, again, it's just support for Moody Air Force Base and the jobs that that brings. Which Glenn tells me is especially important for smaller cities like Valdosta and his hometown. Saw them breaking ground on hangars, the construction jobs that came with that. Once the construction was complete, the pilot training center, the quality high-tech jobs with the personnel that filled those positions. It's, uh, it, it's pretty impressive. Georgia hosts some of the largest installations for the Department of Defense. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas, reporting for ABC 27.